Hey, I'm Matt with Pop Geek, and uh, I just stepped out of Ant-Man, so I thought I'd give myself a little bit of a, uh, a flash review, uh, just walking right out. And I have to say, I love the movie. It was excellent. Um, totally go see it in 3D. It's worth the, uh, the extra money or whatever, uh, just for the cool particle effects and things that are floating around, and they did amazing detail with it. Um, you know, especially for a movie that's not shot in 3D, um, the uh, shrink down effect and all the detail they put into it is, is totally worth the 3D. Uh, one of the coolest graphics you'll see is they uh, find a way to age Michael Douglas backwards and there's a sequence that sh uh, takes place 30 years ago and I've never seen anything that close. Like It's not like Tron Legacy where they made uh, Jeff Bridges look kind of ridiculous and his head bobbles around a lot. Um, this is seamless and I didn't even really notice what I was seeing uh, until it was over. Um, as far as plot goes, the plot is good. It's a heist film. It's, well, it's a heist film with a superhero bent to it. They are uh, basically planning a big heist to steal something. I'm not going to give away uh, spoiler details or anything like that, but um, it's a really, really different way to do it, and it also doesn't screw around with origin story. Um, there's very little of it. It's um, weaved into the story really well. The only thing they do that is not quite as, as fun is they, they really hammer home this idea that uh, Scott, the uh, Paul Rudd's character who takes over as Ant-Man, you know, he has a daughter, and he just got out of jail, so don't screw up your life again. So it's a it's kind of redemption-y, and it parallels um, uh, Michael Douglas's character. So it's it's a little ham-handed with that. But other than that, the movie is excellent. I I totally recommend it, and totally recommend the 3D. So this is another hit probably for the uh, Marvel universe. And um, yeah, so I'm Matt with Pop Geek Podcast.